Good morning. It's kind of chilly and uh, I want us to discuss something. In the game of power, sometimes a king can always sacrifice a queen to win a game. And sometimes still king can always sac I mean, promote a pawn to a queen and win a game. That is exactly what is happening at the Mount Kenya. The king, which is William Ruto, is sacrificing Rigadi Gashaga, which is the queen, and trying to promote Kindiki, which is a pawn, to a stature of a queen. But this is a strategy that you can only apply at the later stage of the game of power. There are strategy and tactics that you don't apply at the early stage of the game of power. Rikati Gashagwa made my night yesterday. He was having an interview with Sam Gituko and a pawn asked uh, of the king pinship of Mount Kenya region. He said that Uhuru Mega Kenya is still the king pin. A very funny answer and tactical. What it simply means is this. You know, right now, the de facto kingpin of Mount Kenya right now is Rigadi Gashago. And William Ruto is trying so hard. He's really striving to take that king chamber away from him through Kindiki. So what Rigadi Gashago did is just to spread that power to Urumugai Kenyatta. So that he sees how William Ruto is going to grab that power from both two of them. Of which, if your answer is good as mine, I mean your guess is good as mine, you know, that William Ruto can't, even if Kintiki was to have that power again, he can't grab that power from both the two people. Now, some few days ago, I told you that um, if there is somebody that William Ruto should drop and should not even come close to him is Rigadi Gashagwa. Robert Green talks about 48 laws of power. And uh, I want us to look at the two laws. He talks of um, getting a friend close but having an enemy, an, an enemy closer. Then another law that he talks of again is uh, outshining your master. Early in the game, in this game, Yigadi Gashaga was trying so hard to outshine William Ruto. Then he realized that that was working bad on his image. So what did he do? He decided that he will put William Ruto much closer to himself. And that is what he did. When William Ruto was in Nyanza, when William Ruto brings an agenda or a bill to be passed, he's not rejecting it. The advantage of this law is that you learn the tactics and strategy of your enemy and his weakest point, and you wait at the right moment and hit it right on the head. That is the advantage of that law. And that is what Rikadi Gashawa is really waiting for. The right moment that he will hit William Ruto on the head. And if there is somebody that is going to stand between William Ruto and the presidency, he is Rigadi Gashago. He doesn't have big ambitions. He only wants to be the kingpin of Murema. Now, Siguze Murema, that's my take.